Right, welcome back to another video uh, on the Bison Tech channel. I know it's a lot of hype online regarding the cryptocurrency, the mining, and I'm, I'm a miner myself. I'm going to be showing you here how the best GPU for mining in 2022. Now, we have a bunch of GPUs to test, and uh, the ones we're going to be testing today are going to be the RTX 3070, RTX 3090, Quadro A6000, Quadro A5000, and Quadro A4000. Why are we going to be testing these GPUs? Where well, first of all, uh, we want to see the difference between the GeForce and the Quadro GPUs for mining. Since the GeForce now, they are limited uh, for, uh, for mining Ethereum. As you know, uh, with the, the NVIDIA put a limitation on the chip, on the software. So if, for example, a GPU was doing 100 mega hatches before, now the GPU do like 50 mega hatches. So we're going to see uh, that difference and how they compare in terms of temperatures, in noise, performance, and price. At the end, we chart like always. So you're going to see what will be the best GPU for you. Keep tuned during all the video because we're going to be showing as well a few websites that will be very helpful for you if you want to calculate how much your GPU can make in a, in a one year period on how many coins you're going to be making. So we're going to explain a few technical details here that is important if you are new to mine. And we're going to be using in this case a software called Simple SimpleMining.net. Now there's a different software and you can mine in your computer if you have Windows or if you have Linux. Uh, it's pretty simple to do it. But most of the time it's better to have a, a software that is built in for the purpose. Like for example, you can find HiveOS or uh, Simple Mining. In this case, I'm going to be using the Simple Mining because it, it, for me it has a better a better interface a web interface and we have everything set up there we're just gonna plug in the gpus and we're gonna see and start playing with the gpus so we're gonna get the best so we're gonna see how we're gonna get the best performance doing the overclocking of course and the hash rate that we're gonna get per gpu so at the end of the video you have an understanding what uh, to use for mining what software to use how to use it and what will be the best GPU for you if you already have a GPU? Like, for example, maybe you have a workstation or you have a computer at home that when you're not working on it, you can just leave it to mine and it can uh, make some coins for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's go and jump into the video. Okay, so we're going to start testing the Quadro A5000. We have set it up on the bench. Uh, let me show it to you. We, I just built a quick, um, like a minor rig. Um, if they want to build a minor rig, the best way to go if you're using this kind of GPU, it's, it's an open frame like we have in this case. And uh, we're going to be testing each each of them and show you all the performance and the overclock settings. Uh, so for now, we're going to go to the software. And we're going to see that we're launching the uh, RTX A5000, as you can see here. Now, out of the box, this GPU can do around 86, 85 mega hatches. We're going to see uh, how much mega hatches we're getting right now. Okay, so as you can see here, the GPU just start mining out of the box. We didn't modify any overclock setting here. We're going to do that later. And as you can see, we're getting 86, 85 mega hatches. Now, important things to check is the, the hash rate and the power consumption the GPU is doing. So for this, we're going to go up here and we're going to see that we're getting 85, 86 mega hatches. And the power says 60 watt, which I think is wrong. Current is 230, as you can see here, 230 watts. It's already updated. So this GPU, the A5000, can handle up to 230 watts. So that would be the limit that this GPU can do. Now, if we're going to go to overclocking now, what we're going to do is we're going to increase, decrease the clock speed on the CPU because we don't need that for mining, at least Ethereum mining. On the memory, we can go up to uh, 3000, but that would be too, too heavy for those GPUs. You can damage the memory if you overclock too much. A safe place to be, it will be 2200. And the power limit, we're going to do 230. Just because if we try to go down, later we're going to try that, you're going to see that you're going to uh, lose performance. So with those settings, which are optimal for this GPU, uh, we're going to see what increase on hash rate we're going to get. So with 87 right now, we're going to apply those settings. Okay, the setting being applied, and we're already getting 92 mega hatches. We should get up to 100 mega hatches, and that's pretty stable on these GPUs. I tested, like you can see here, we're reaching 100 mega hashes right now it's pretty stable and it runs fine with te i tested for more than 24 hours and the gpu didn't crash or anything what happens sometimes is if you overclock too much you may reach those high uh, hash rate but then you're going to start slowly having crashes on the computer reboots or the machine just crash and that's because the overclock setting is too high so you have to lower down this is a uh, perfect values minus 100 in the, cro in the core clock memory 2200 and 230 watt the power limit and you reach around 100 mega hatches. Now, 
what we're gonna try to do is to limit the power a little bit so we are at 230 which is the maximum for this GPU now let's try to do 180 and see what's gonna happen so we're gonna save that now the settings are being applied and because we lower the TDP from 230 to 180 you can see here we're getting uh, like 76 mega hatches so that will affect uh, the performance because the GPU need more juice more power to uh, reach those high setting hash rate so it doesn't work uh, going down at least on this GPU the best setting will be for the wattage 230 so that's what we're gonna do and now we're gonna pass and we're gonna test it uh, the RTX A6000 it's a way more expensive GPU it's uh, double the price of the A5000 but you will see how the performance is basically the same the only difference is uh, the memory on the GPU which for, G uh, for GPU mining doesn't matter because we only need four or five or even six uh, gigabyte on the GPU and these two the A5000 come with 24 and the A6000 come with 48 so we're gonna check that now okay so now we're running the the test for the RTX A6000 the Quadro A6000 and as you can see here we're consuming 300 watts so almost the limit this GPU can do up to 330 or 340 watts and the hash rate is basically the same that we have with the A5087. This is without any overclock. Now, the good thing on this GPU is we can go down on the wattage and we're gonna keep the same performance like the, the A5000. So what we're gonna do is the same thing. We're gonna apply minus 100, 2200 in the memory, and minus 230. Now, if you go lower than 230, you're gonna lose performance, it's the same thing. But if you do 230, you can keep up to 100 mega hatches. So what tells you right, right out of the box, basically the A5000 has a much better value than this GPU in terms of power and consumption, in terms of price, and the performance is basically the same like the A6000, okay? So we're gonna do those settings, we're gonna apply them, and we're gonna see how much hash rate we're gonna increase from 87. So the settings have been applied, and as you can see now, we're reaching 100 mega hatches. Basically the same thing that we had before with the A5000. This is the optimal settings, they work for both, the A5000 or 6000, and they're gonna keep the performance 100 mega hatches, no problem, no throttling, and no reboot for the machine. So now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna test the RTX 3090, because that will be the GPU comparable in price and performance with the A5000 or A6000. So let's jump into it. Okay, so now we're testing the RTX 3090. And in this case, this GPU out of the box is making 106 mega hatches. Now, if we go to, to the water consumption, we're consuming around 344, 350 watts in this case. If your GPU is like an FTW3, you may be looking at 424 or something uh, for the wattage. Now, the hash rate is better than the A5000 or A6000, but you're paying more on the, on the electricity side because it's consuming almost um, more than 100 watts more in the case of the A5000, which is uh, 230. So that's something to consider, but out of the box is 106. Now, you have to keep in mind that this is because you have we have only one GPU with the open frame. Uh, once you have more GPUs, one on the side of the other, then it, they're gonna start uh, overheating, so they're gonna start thermal throttling, and you're gonna lose performance. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna apply the same overclock setting that we did for the A500 and the A6000 and see how this GPU is gonna react. And the power limit this time, we're gonna limit it to 300 watts, which is the same like the A6000. And see what kind of performance we're gonna get. So now with these settings applied, we can see here uh, that we're reaching around uh, 118. Uh, we can push a little bit more, and, and this GPU usually you can reach up to 120 mega hatches. Of course, it's gonna decrease uh, once you have more GPUs connected, uh, but that's what we're gonna get here. Now, it's not bad, we're limiting up to 300 watts, so basically uh, it's doing better performance around 20 mega hatches more than the A6000 or the A5000, uh, but comparable price will be the A5000 and the 3090, and again, the, the, the A5000 can do uh, the same hash rate, like 100 mega hatches for only uh, 230 watts. Okay, so now let's jump to the low tier uh, GPUs, it's gonna be the RTX 3070 and the A4000, because those two are comparable between price and performance. So we're gonna jump into it. Okay, so now we have connected the RTX 3070 and the A4000. This is a very interesting test uh, because these two GPUs are very similar between the two. Uh, the only difference is gonna be uh, the gigabyte. The 37 is eight gigs and the other one is 15. But in terms of performance, it's basically the same GPU in terms of tensor cores and CUDA cores. Now, if you look at these two GPUs, there's a huge difference in wattage. 
Um, the 37 it can do up to 200 watt, 220, and the A4000 can do it to 140. Now the A4000 is a slim GPU, uh, only one slot, and the 37 it comes with two. The A4000 only have one six pin connector, which is very important if you have uh, to maximize the amount of GPUs that you want to put in one power supply. And the 37 it comes with two eight pin connectors, so that's very important when you're building uh, multiple rigs, uh, multiple GPU rig. Now, if you look at the performance down here, we see that we're getting around 51 on the 3070 and 49 on the A4000. Now, this is happening because the 3070 that we have, it's not a limited, um, a blocked edition, which is the new one uh, that NVIDIA is blocking for Ethereum mining, and you get half of the performance. So basically, if the GPU can do 50, it will be cut in half, and you'll be doing 25. Now, there is a few miners, like LOL Miner or Phoenix Miner, that allow you to unlock um, the hash rate, but you're never gonna get a hundred percent. Like before, if it was 51, now you may be getting around 48, 49, but no more than that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna apply the overclock setting that I know it worked for these cards, and we're gonna do the same thing like always 2200 for the memory, and then on the power limit, we're gonna limit both GPUs to 140. Okay, now we're gonna apply these settings, and we're gonna see the real performance we're gonna get out of it too. Okay, now with the overclock settings applied, as you can see here, we are reaching 60 mega hatches on the 3070 and 58 on the A4000. Now, if you have a GPU like a 3070 that is not uh, limited by NVIDIA, uh, yes, this one has better performance, but if you have the new uh, generation with the limitation, you'll be looking at 48, uh, 49 mega hatches, uh, even with the new miners. So at the end, the A4000 is a very value because you get 58 and a very slim form factor and uh, the power consumption will be around 140. So that's, uh, but if you have an old version, basically the 3070 gives you a better performance. Okay, so now that we have all the tests done, we're gonna jump into the charts so you can see each GPU and the comparison between them in terms of performance, uh, the water consumption, so you can do, uh, and the price, so you can do uh, your own decision. So we're gonna take a quick look at the GPUs itself as a bonus. So you can see uh, what's the, the, the difference between them in terms of size and in terms of um, power connectors. So for example, we got here the RTX 3090 and the 3070. And as you can see here in this case, the 3090 has two power connector, a pin, as well as the 3070. But in some cases, uh, most of the GPUs, the 3090s are gonna have three um, pin connectors. That's very important when you're looking at the power supply because if if you have too many connectors, then even though your power supply may be powerful, you're gonna need another extra power supply just to have cab enough cables to power up another GPU. Now, if we look at the, at the Quadro lineup, we got the A6000 here, which is the same like the A5000, uh, this is the 5000. We got the, it's only one A pin connectors and the A6000, you have to connect two A pin connectors. So this is 230 watts. And in the case of the A4000, that's a very small GPU. As you can see here, it's only one slot GPU and it has only one six pin connector, which is very important if you want to connect multiple GPUs on the same minor rig. This gives you more flexibility. Okay, so I hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, basically, the best GPU for mining in 2022 is the GPU you can find. Uh, it's difficult to find GPU these days, but as you can see here, we have uh, compared the Quadro series with the RTX, um, the 3090 and the 3070. Basically, if you have the 3060, it has almost the same performance like a 3070, maybe uh, 5 or 10 uh, mega hatches less. But uh, the rule of thumb here is you need a GPU that has low power consumption. Uh, it has a good performance, like high hash rate. So I'm gonna leave a link below that you can find a calculator so you can have any kind of GPU, for example. You, you have all the GPUs, you select the ones you want, and then you click calculate and it will tell you how much money you're gonna be making on Ethereum. But you have to keep in mind that consideration that you want to have a low TDP. Remember, low TDP means uh, better performance and uh, low temperature, which at the end is very important for the GPU so it will not overheat. What I think of the GPUs that we test, uh, for me, the A5000 is the best value because it gives you 230 watts only, keep very good temperature, 100 mega hatches, and the price is 2600, so basically less than the RTX 3090, and you get uh, maybe 10 mega hatches less, but you get better performance, and it will keep stable if you have multiples of them in the same minor rig. 
and on, on top of that you have only one a pin connector so meaning that if you have a power supply like the 1600 watts you can connect up to five or six of them and you don't need another extra power supply uh, to, to connect the GPUs because not enough pin connectors or maybe too much power like the 3090 consume 350 or even 420 sometimes compared with only um, 230. Okay, I hope you like this video. Keep it tuned because we're going to be uploading more videos like this. Let me know in the comments if you like uh, more content uh, regarding to mining and I see you on the next one.